Hey guys, it is Quarantini Lini here, and I'm here today to give you some survival tips to survive our little situation. Um, and this is just, this is not rocket science, this is the basics, but two things I wanna show you how to do. Uh, make your own mayonnaise, which might be key if you run out of mayonnaise, and use up the canned goods in your pantry. And we're talking tuna, chicken, and salmon. So today, we're gonna start with making, making mayonnaise, all right? So what you're gonna need is light tasting olive oil. This is not extra virgin. This is the cheap kind that's at the bottom of the shelf, but um, it's light tasting because it's, um, I don't know, it's just not, it's not the good stuff. This is, it does not have a lot of flavor, which is what you want when you're making your own mayonnaise. You don't want something that is too strong in flavor. It'll, I've made it with regular by accident and it was not good. So I'm putting it in this little immersion blender thing I have. You can do it in a food processor. You can do it with a spatula. I mean, a, a whisk. It's gonna take a long time. This is the easiest way I've, I've found to do it. So I put a cup of olive oil and then I'm gonna break an egg. And I usually like to break an egg in a little cup first to, in case I get any shell. So I'm gonna drop a, a fresh egg in there. And it's kind of salt to taste, but I, I like to use this Maldon um, sea salt, but I like, I like a good old scoop. So maybe about that much. Sea salt, what is that? Maybe a half a teaspoon? Peach. A peach? It is a peach. All right, throw that in there. And it's about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So I, I'm not measuring here because I, I like actually a little bit more, but I'm gonna drop about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard in here. And then a squeeze of fresh lemon. Okay, some people, might do apple cider vinegar. There's lots of different acidic things that you can add to this, but that's it. Oil, salt, Dijon, lemon, and egg. And this, because I'm using a fresh egg, it will probably keep, I would say, five to six days. So whenever I make this mayonnaise, I like to have something ready to use it with. So like I'm gonna make tuna salad. I've got eggs boiling over there. That, that I'm gonna put in my tuna salad, but I can also make egg salad. I can make a lot of different things with this. So have something in mind. Um, and the beautiful thing about this immersion blender is this, I just step, drop it in. it and see do you like more lemon do you like more salt you can flavor it a little bit after that um sometimes i'll make a i'll use this for coleslaw or i can i'll put um chipotle chili in there and make chipotle chili mayonnaise so you can this is the base you can add whatever you want but that is your basic mayonnaise and from there i've already put one can of tuna. Let me clear this out. Okay. Margaret, my daughter Marge, is my film person. <laughs> so I'm going to put two cans of, of this albacore tuna. I actually really like this brand. It's called Wild Planet because they're sustainably caught and they actually care about the way that they catch their fish. I know in these times, under this circumstance, you're going to grab whatever tuna you got. But um, we're gonna do two cans of tuna. Then I'm gonna take just two green onions that I have, because I have them. If you don't have onions, you don't have to worry. If you don't like onions, you don't put them in. So chopping these onions all the way up till I get to some darker green. And those are going in. And I've got a pickle. I like fresh pickles. You can do pickle relish. You can do sweet or dill. I like dill. So I know some people that put apples 
Everybody's got their own tuna way, but this is the way I like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. All right, now I'm cutting up a, a big strip of celery because I want a little crunch to it, okay? So, chopping this up. I hope everybody's staying sane. We went on a walk today because it was so beautiful just to get out of the house, but um, man, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trying to keep my social distance and abide by the rules, follow, follow the damn rules. Okay, so there is my um, pickle, my whatever this is, the celery and my <laughs> onion. Okay, now the, the coup de gras or the, uh, the special piece de resistance are my eggs. I, I did a video on this the other day. So I'm tired of peeling eggs and I have fresh eggs. So, oh, I, one of the yolks broke. So I broke my eggs straight in this bag. And instead of boiling them and then peeling them with fresh eggs, I have chickens, peeling fresh eggs is a nightmare. So if you wanna break them in a silicone bag, um, and then gently simmer them. <laughs> okay, if you can get this dumb thing open. Okay, this is always the worst part. But, hold on one second. It's hot. I know. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Don't do this at home, folks. Do not try that at home. Okay, so here is my, <laughs> these are my eggs that I boiled. How about that? Now I don't even have to go to the trouble of peeling them because they come out in one big boiled egg monstrosity. I'm not using all these for my tuna. I'm gonna make an egg salad, but I'm gonna use some of these for my tuna. Look at that. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's drop those in <clears throat> to the old tuna salad, add a little extra quality protein. And then you're just gonna add enough mayonnaise to the point that you, that you, you like that consistency. So I've got two little scoops and I'm gonna swirl it around. And now I've got a really awesome tuna salad and all of this, oh, Alexa, cut off. Yeah, she's letting me know my eggs were done. I already knew my eggs were done. So there you go. If you like more, th throw another can in. Um, again, you can do the same process with um, chicken. You might, instead of adding celery to the chicken salad, add apples or grapes. That's what Margaret likes. And to salmon salad, you might add capers. Cream cheese. Cream cheese, well. I don't know if I put cream cheese in the salad, but... I don't know. Instead of mayo. Yeah, you could make a salmon dip. That would be interesting. Mm. Yeah. So, good luck. Give this a try. I've... Um, it, it's interesting. Sometimes my mayonnaise comes out fuller. Sometimes it comes out thinner. I think it might have to do with the size of egg. Like, I grabbed the biggest egg that I had, but... Um, but even if it's like this, it still works. It doesn't have to be like standing tall. So give it a try. Let me know if you make it, take a picture and, uh, and tag me, Leanie Hoff. All right.